Team Black Miner version 1.83, faster of Burt Coin and Zill Mining. Epoch Zero cached at startup, AMD, NVIDIA in plus Zill mode, and then improved the startup time when mining two or three algorithms. Added support for Zill standalone mining on crazypool.org and fixed stats. Sometimes the AVG hash rate in the console was zero for vert hash. Added the API version 1.4, activate with API version option, fix the AMD ETC standalone mining not starting bug introduced in non-dual mode 1.82, and fix Zill power limits so it resets properly after end Zill proof of work. Yeah, um, good luck with any triple. I mean, even dual mining is pretty sparse as far as how reliable you're going to get your rigs. But once you start triple mining, like, good freaking luck, bro. Um, just good luck. It's cool on the surface. If you want to be able to run your rigs with any sort of reliability, ah, just... Uh, not a fan. Out of nowhere, an interesting we did update. We got an update from XM Rig, which I think has been it's 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 been a while. The last update was October 23rd for version 18 6.18.1. We got version 6.19 two days ago. And uh there's not a lot of information here. So all we really got here is an update to the latest SSE to Neon.h, MSVC build enabled parallel compilation, improved Zen 3 MSR mod, which cool, updated CMake required version to 3.1, Dragonfly BSD compilation fixes, not really too big of a deal, show IP address for failed connections, eh. Fixed macOS DMI reader as if anybody mines on macOS at this point, but cool. And fixed the broken random X light mode mining. Solo mining added job timeout. Not a not a lot. It is good to see the XM rig is getting some updates though. So work is being done there. I was happy to see this. Like we stated earlier, you know, updates to these miners are few and far between in the bear market. I'm glad to see XM Rig is still sticking around because really they're the only hope for the CPU mining side of things. XMR stack has been pretty lackluster to say the least. Four days ago, too, we got BZ Miner version 13.03. Like I said, BZ Miner's definitely been staying up to date with their fixes. Um, they had one two weeks ago. I think that one was for the the partnership on Nexa with LOL Miner, which is pretty cool. On this one, um, the, the hot fix. So they had quite a few kind of back-to-back fixes, right? They had a 13.01, uh, a 13.0.2, which uh, improved Nexa hash rate and efficiency on it, uh, NVIDIA. And they reduced the Nexa dev fee by 2%, basically because it was lower on the LOL miner side as well. They fixed AMD issues on all ag algos except Nexa, it says. And then some stuff like that. Then 13.03, they fixed CUDA error from previous release on older NVIDIA drivers. Slight improvement to Nexa efficiency and hash rate, mainly for 20 series cards. And they added the new parameter pool reconnect timeout, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then finally, we do have four days ago, SRB Miner uh, Multi version 2.1. And this one, SRB Miner, it's been a wait. Well, it says two weeks ago. It felt like longer. It felt like longer to me, but I guess, I guess I'm wrong. Um, so for this one, exciting here, Alchemist Architecture. I got the 750. Also, the price of the 750 has dropped in price a lot. So um, as well as uh, Ubuntu drivers are out now too, or Linux drivers. So... I'm definitely going to get my 750 hooked up at some point, hopefully next weekend. And I want to get the, essentially get the, uh, the 750 hooked up into my, into a Ubuntu machine. I think we'll throw it into my Threadripper 
that already has Ubuntu installed on it. And then get SRB Miner and check out some of the new algos for the support for Alchemist, right? So um, I think that's pretty exciting. They do have like the Zill for the triple mining, all this stuff. I don't, I'm not sure. It doesn't say. I mean, so it says this is the first release that supports the Alchemist GPU. So please report any bugs. Is it every algorithm? the SRB miner supports because if so, like crazy, um, it seems like that's the case though, right? It seems like that's the case. So plus the price drop on the, on the alchemist cards. Uh, and, and like I said, the Ubuntu release, I'm really, really, really hot on this. So, uh, this week is like, this is going to be my primary focus this weekend. I'm too busy with the kids and stuff, but, uh, over the week, like this is my primary focus to get testing for you guys on the Intel arc 750. So that should be cool. Thanks for checking out this clip from the crypto mining show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.